I'm looking at my to-do list for today. I see 11 or 12 items. A few were carried over from yesterday. Do you ever do that? I had too many things on my list. I realized I do better when I simplify and I focus on a few key things, probably three, that I can give my full attention and, and complete and, and be creative and talented and capable. I like what my coach, Dan Sullivan, writes about focus and about attention. Something like when we're fully attentive, we use our capabilities in the best possible way. At these times, we're at our best. And it isn't only the eventual success that is good. It's also that being fully conscious, attentive while we do the work makes it more enjoyable. So that's something, right? Someone else might achieve the desired result because they're more talented, more skillful. But if they're not in control and they're not attentive to it, they might even be bored with it. And that won't feel so rewarding, right? They may not even remember the activity. So think about one of your most rewarding experiences in your life. I've got one in mind. Almost always you're focused and you're, you're making progress and you've been rewarded for that. Does that make sense? You're a high achiever every single time you go out and you focus, laser beam focus, and you're giving it all your attention, all your energy. So, and you're probably most useful to others too. That's important, right? So, you know, from that most memorable experience or experiences that opportunities to be useful to others typically come from what I call laser beam focus, focus of your attention, 100% responsible. Your laser focus doesn't depend on anyone else's reactions or opinion. 100% responsible for your results. I like that. You, you're, when, you, when you're responsible, your focus, your skills expand, your creativity lights up, your determination, your resilience, those all strengthen. Hmm, that sounds like a pretty good combination. It works out because anytime you uh, expand a skill, have some success, then there's some reward for that. And when you're feeling more skillful, even when it's maybe solving a problem or dealing with a challenging situation um, at, at work or at home, it's rewarding to you because you had, you had full focus, full attention towards resolving, fixing, improving, whatever. When we don't fully engage, I do know this, we don't enjoy it so much. But when you fully engage, it's almost always more enjoyable and oftentimes more productive, more rewarding. Uh, when I focus, I'm clear, I'm calm, and I feel especially rewarded um, when everybody else may be flustered, bothered, confused, anxious, worried, but I'm clear and calm. That's who votes for clear and calm. So, you know, focus also brings some pride in your work too because of the effort, the energy, the attention you gave it. Um, and and I, I always like myself. I like what I've, I've done. So there's a little self-worth involved there too, probably. So we all have this capability of paying more attention, being more focused. Laser beam focus is the buzzword for today. Um, your confidence grows too, by the way, because you had greater control over the situation and your attention. It multiplies your confidence for the next time. It makes sense, doesn't it? So we do have the ability to pay attention to what's most important. So that's what I'm doing to my list today. What are you gonna to do today perhaps that you can give more focus, more attention? I'm reducing my to-do list. I may keep the whole list, put it in the lower right-hand desk drawer, but I'm gonna work on three things today and give it my full attention, my focus, not 10 or 11. That didn't work at all yesterday. And it rarely does. I've made that mistake before. So. See if focus improves and how you can improve your attention, your focus. What can you do differently today to, to improve both attention and focus?